Breaking news. Autumn identifies armed headsmen country of origin. Says presidency happy with security situation. I can assure you. Don't be deceived that they are not happy. They are quite happy with what is going on. Hello, my wonderful people. If there is one state yeah, that has been seriously been, you know, um, abused by this security situation. What I mean by abuse is the presidency, you know, bluff Governor Otom, ask him to go and live at peace with his neighbors. Which neighbors are you talking about? People that are killing his people. In a single night, they come into a community and they end everybody. Yes? Now, Governor Samuel Otom, you know, he told him to go and live at peace with his enemy. He should go and make peace. You know, the peace he's talking about was because Governor Samuel Oton was the first person to sign to sign the bill on anti-open grazing. And since then, the Fulanese have, you know, raged war on that state, you know, and now the Southern governors have joined. You know, a lonely voice seemed to be like uh, a voice that may not really be heard. But now that is more than one, don't, don't forget to please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. You know, the voice is now getting louder. Uh, Samuel Otom has discovered the people. Let's get all the details. Otom identifies arm headsmen country of origin, says presidency, happy with security situation. Governor Samuel Otom has alleged that some of the armed Fulani headsmen unleashing th terror on unsuspected residents of the state and other parts of Nigeria are from Mali and Niger Republic. In an interview with Daily Post, the governor revealed that most of the Fulani headsmen arrested in the state cannot speak Hausa or Fudi, saying they are from French-speaking countries. Governor Samuel Otom accused the current presidency of finding pleasure in the unfortunate security situation of the country, stating that the armed Fulani men are more dangerous than the indigenous people of Biafra, mm -hmm. IPOB, which President Muhammadu Buhari's administration prescribed and has tagged as terrorist group. He said, my point is, why is it that these Fulanis that are coming here can't be stopped? They are not even Nigerians. Yet, they are Nigerians Fulanese. They are coming from, they are not Nigerian Fulanese. They are coming from Mali and Niger. They are not hiding it. They are saying it. They say it most times. Most of them that are arrested here speak French. They can't even speak Hausa or Fudu. And so it is a matter of the government deciding, look, we must stop this. But it seems the government is not even ready to do anything about it. But it is not clear to me now. But it is clear to me now. And that is why I say that the body language of the current presidency is that they are happy with what is happening. They stopped IPOB in the southeast, yes? They branded them terrorists. If I were to evaluate what is happening in the southeast, southwest, what the Fulanese are doing here is worse. The weapons they, are, they, they have are more sophisticated than whatever you think you have found in the southeast or southwest. I don't support all this sectionist agitation by individuals. I don't support it, but the truth must be told. We must ensure equality and fairness. What has Sunday Goho done and what has Anandi Kanu done? These are not the real problem. We must ensure justice for all. What is good for the ghosts is good for the Ganders. So, why are we separating other people as if they are slaves? And then we bring in Fulanese from outside the country and terrorize the country and you allow them. The president himself accepted that these ones are, that are terrorizing the country are not, press, are not Nigerians. So, why are you allowing them? Why have they refused to brown them as terrorists and send them out of Nigeria? Why have they refused to let them go? Why are they encouraging Maeti Allah to go ahead and kill people? It is a serious question that needs an urgent answer, but I don't know if I can answer you, sir. It's good that, I mean, these things are coming out and everybody is seeing it. That the people who are really causing trouble in Nigeria are not even Nigerians. And guess what? 
the presidency is aware. As a matter of fact, it was Garu Bashe himself that said, oh, the people that are causing this problem are not Nigerians. Fair enough, you know they are not Nigerians. What happens to our borders? Why is the borders so porous that these people can infiltrate and come through? Why? Why can't the borders be closed? Why? But if it's to close it in, a, in, a, in Ibadan, against those who are trying to bring in rice, they will close it. So why are we deceiving ourselves? Do, should I tell you what is happening? A clear indication of misplacement of priority. That's simple. That's what is happening. Clear indication of misplacement of priority. You know why? Because we want to show, yeah, we, we, have, an, we have a mindset that some people cannot, you know, be anything. Why do other people? As a matter of fact, IPOB, Nandi Kano, Sunday Boho is not a criminal. The fact that is in Benin Republic is actually a pain. Honestly speaking, this is actually a pain because this man was just looking out for people. This whole thing started. When Sunday Boho started, people were like, you can't be here, sir, and we are being treated like second class in our own place. See what is going on. See what is happening to us. And he came. First of all, he alerted the government federal uh, state and federal that there is no safety in ibadan in all your state this is going on nobody answered him in fact they took him like a madman nobody responded they ignored him completely and then he took it upon himself to ensure safety when he came if you remember precisely people were very happy he was a fresh breath of air a ray of hope not knowing that the government was angry the government of nigeria was very angry saying who gave him the f entry to come and it's as if they love the fact that people are in bondage oh yes they love it they love the fact that people are kept in a cocoon they are quite happy this is what they want this is what they want and so when he sends those people out he sent out a trigger that this man is going to disturb all we want to do you see and they kept quiet and nobody said anything before you know it he became a target Remember the other time they almost, uh, you know, uh, picked him up in Ibadan. And DSS, I like that they are not the ones. When they came to destroy his house on July the 1st, are they not the ones? So why are we deceiving ourselves? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.